All right, so today we're going to talk about drawing chairs and specifically we're going to draw a chair seat with this carved out scoop, the uh, the saddle of the seat. So you have something nice uh, to crest your booty cheeks with. So let's jump into SketchUp and get started. All right, so I have my seat blank drawn in here. I didn't want to bore you with drawing this in. It's a pretty simple shape, just a, a couple of straight lines with an arch and I've extruded it out to about an inch and three quarters. All right, so now I don't want my seat scoop to start right from the edge. I want it to start in a little bit. So I'm just going to uh, use the offset tool and bring this guy in a little ways. Now this is one of my favorite things about designing in SketchUp is that I don't have to tell it an exact number. I can just kind of move this back and forth and go, okay, I think I like the looks of where that is. So I don't have to be super particular. I can just move it back and forth. And once I decide, yeah, that looks about right, I'm just going to click it to commit. All right, so next I'm gonna find the center. I'm just gonna use my line tool here until I snap to the center. I'm gonna draw a center mark here so I can work from the center. All right, now I'm going to be drawing on the outside of the component because I don't want it to be sticky. I don't want my geometry to merge with the existing geometry that's inside the component. And that's mainly because that way I can make decisions if I like the curve that I'm drawing or not. So I can uh, draw a curve down and decide, oh, that one's probably too, too deep. Maybe we'll go with a shallower curve. So I can try different uh, types of curves before committing it to the geometry. All right, so I'm gonna go with this top curve because I like it the best. And I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna rotate it around, but I'm gonna hit the control key to make a copy and swing it around. So I can see uh, how symmetrical it looks and see if I like how that uh, seat is looking. I don't think it is going to be very comfortable to sit on a pointy uh, area here. So I'm going to use the arc tool and I'm just going to uh, spare that out. All right, once I'm happy with the look of my curved seat, I'm just going to delete this other half because we don't need that anymore. That was just there to help give me some visual reference to make sure I like uh, the design. All right, and I'm going to use the line tool so I can draw from point to point here just to close that up so that way I have a face here. So if we were to hide this, you can see that this is my face here, my shape that I'm going to carve. All right, and so now to get this carved all the way around, I'm just going to use the follow me tool. So I'm going to enter the component. I'm going to grab this piece. I'm going to control C to make a copy and I have a shortcut key for paste in place. I'm gonna control shift V. So now that is pasted in place. So if I right click, hide this, this is what we got. So I don't need this line here anymore. So I'm gonna delete that. So I'm gonna select our curve, grab the follow me tool. And there is uh, sort of the shape of our seat, but it's inside out. So I'm gonna delete this top section right here. And then I have some cleanup to do here. So I don't need this face. So I'm gonna delete that and delete the lines that connect it. And we don't need this face anymore. All right. So sometimes uh, on tight curves, on small geometry, SketchUp screws up and it can't fill that in. So I'm gonna use hidden geometry here. So I'm gonna go to view, turn on my hidden geometry and I can see that if I use the line tool, I can close some of these areas up. Simplify that geometry. All right, so I still need to close this up. So I'm gonna use a extension called Curve Aloft. So I'm gonna select, let's turn off hidden geometry here. So I'm gonna just select across that area and deselect anything that I don't need this line right here. All right, and I'm gonna hit curve aloft and it'll automatically fill in all those areas. So we'll do that again on this side. And then I'm gonna hold the, uh, the control and shift key down to deselect these guys that I don't need. And then once I'm happy with my selection, hit curve aloft here. 
and it fills all that in. So now when it fills it in, it makes it a group. So I'm gonna right click explode that and then right click reverse faces so it's the same as this. Somehow I accidentally deleted my first example. So we'll do that again. Uh, explode, right click, reverse faces. Right click, soften and smooth edges. Missed a few, so I'm just gonna grab the eraser tool with the modifier key. And finish that off. All right, so now it's inside out. So I'm gonna right click, uh, reverse faces, All right? So I am going to select all of that. I'm gonna control C to make a copy of it. I'm gonna delete it. And uh, if we go up here, view unhide. Oh, actually edit unhide, unhide all, and bring back our seat blank. I'm gonna enter that component and I have a paste and play shortcut. Control shift V to paste that in place. So now I can just delete this surface, delete this line, and I have a, a carved out seat cushion or seat dimple, butt dimple, whatever you want to call it. So it looks complicated, but once you break it down, it's actually pretty simple to draw. All right, so next time we will draw some spindles and legs for this guy.